Bowie. Well, that was alarming. Are you having a go at him? <gasps> How dare you, woman? That's just rude. My gosh, this is a fancy library. Damn. Oh. They are attracted to each other, apparently. What is she? Is she... <gasps> She's a witch! Ooh, that's interesting. But yeah, if you can befriend this little goldfinch, that'll just be the cutest little thing. Oh, look at him just fly over. Hi, little one. You're so sweet. What's up, guys? My name is Megan, and welcome to The Sims 3. This is a brand new Let's Play, and it's actually The Sims 3 Supernatural. Yep, that's right. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and as you can see, we have ourselves a fairy here. He's a male fairy. Let's introduce you all to him. I am... There we go. Woo! Gosh. Uh, this is the house that we are currently oh goodness that we are currently living in um and i will in, i'll show you all of that in a second but first let's have a look at our main man here so we've got noah aries that uh he is the the main character that we're starting with oh look we have neighbors oh look there's a little fairy fairy friend uh delivering the paper i think um yes there's paper there um but yes uh he is a male fairy he is a Virgo. He's shy, good, family orientated, a bookworm and a green thumb. His favorite music is Roots music. His favorite food is a key lime pie and his favorite color is lilac. So yeah, this is Noah. So the backstory with Noah is he he has actually been teased quite a lot in his life. Um, he is one of those quiet types. He was teased a lot throughout school by the other fairies, uh, the guys and the girls. Um, and basically he is just, he's always struggled to find a true friend. And, and I mean, the look on his face right now, he looks a bit worried <laughs> um, and to be honest it's not kind of surprising when you look at this house um, in this neighborhood oh look there's another fairy over there well it's good to know that there's plenty of fairies but basically we are in a brand new place that I've never played on before and I am so excited we are in Midnight Hollows so yeah, I'm super duper excited. Um, I brought this world um, last week or something like that. I brought it recently off of the Sims 3 store. Um, and this house I have started him off in, I did tweak it a bit because I didn't want one of those tiny start houses um, where it would take me ages to get out of uh, like I was struggling to do in the previous let's play i had with uh, the forp family with jade and ricky forp and benji and wilson the two their two dogs um so i have kind of started off a little bit different this time um basically he has some money he wasn't supposed to have that much but um, i had to get the house and uh so i had to kind of do a little bit of you know cheating i guess uh to be able to get this house for him um, but I just, it's still not a huge house. It's nothing, you know, ecstatic or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted something that will give us a bit more room to play with, you know? Um, but yeah, and there's nothing inside the house which is like overkill and stuff. But I will show you around now. Let's just put the paper in his inventory. But let's show you around. So this is his house. And um, this is the attic. It is empty at the moment because we're going to fill that up throughout the let's play. Um, but yeah, that's the attic. Fairly big size. I did expand the house actually because it was smaller. Um, but I expanded it this way and that way a little bit uh, just to give us a little bit more room to play with. This is the upstairs. Now, as you can see, there isn't many rooms. So it, like I say, it's not a huge house. I didn't want 
to go over the top and have a huge place to start in, but I wanted something a bit better than those one-story stad houses that is the only thing you can afford when you first start the game. And I'm not very good at making money in this game, I find it very difficult, so I was like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna give us a little bit of a better start, so uh, that's exactly what I did. This is his room, hang on, let me put the walls up just so you can see the full rooms. So this is his room. Uh, when I was actually making this, I completely forgot what <laughs> what color was his favorite. So I kind of made it after blue, so I, I thought it was blue, but no, actually it's lilac. I completely forgot that's what his favorite color was. But yeah, I thought this wallpaper was kind of interesting. Um, so I gave him this one, it was different. So I was like, yeah, why not? And we are in a dark, creepy, supernaturally town. I mean, it's not the supernatural town. Um, that is Moonlight Falls, uh, but I didn't want to play on that one. I wanted to play on something new because I have played a lot on that one at my, in my own time um, with my own Let's Plays um, and I wanted something new and this one just intrigued me. It's very, very dark and mysterious um, and I am just so excited. It's beautiful and look, there's this really strange red forest over here and it's just really pretty um big open area over here oh there's like a a beach down here but just look at it it looks so cool hopefully it's not too dark uh in the recording um i'll have to try and brighten it if it is because it was a bit dark for me at first playing on here uh, i haven't played on this yet and here's the graveyard again with this weird red mist fog or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, it's pretty damn cool. I am really, really excited. I will have to put an elixir store in here somewhere, because um, I'm not actually sure if there is one. But uh, yeah, I haven't actually played around with the town or anything yet. I just, like I said, I just did this house and yeah. So anyway, uh, that is his bedroom. This is just the upstairs area. I took out the wall by the, under the stairs, so then there's a bit more space to put stuff. Uh, he's got a little run here, which is cool. This is the bathroom. Nothing fancy, you know, just a simple bathroom with the simple, you know, bargain toilet and the sink that always breaks and a cheap, uh, a cheap bathtub. That's what I was looking for, that word. Um, but yeah, so that is up here. And this is the downstairs area. Again, not a huge area. Um, so we have the front entrance right here. You've just got a couple of seats here, a uh, little carpet, some plants, and a bookcase. So not, not a huge lot. I wanted to keep this wall because, I don't know, I thought it looked cool. Uh, over here he has a computer, uh, the cheapest computer that there is. Um, yeah, and that's literally it because, again, I didn't really know what to put in, to be honest. And then over here we have the kitchen, which I really like, actually. I changed the colours of everything to match because uh, I didn't want it... It was a lot darker, uh, like it was almost black. Um, same with the walls here, but I wanted to actually be able to see it, so I had changed all of these... Uh, to a lighter grey, but to still kind of keep that theme, again with the table as well and the chairs. Um, so they're all kind of matching, but yeah, I really like it. I think the kitchen's probably one of my favourite <laughs> areas of the house. Um, and this is the downstairs bathroom, so again, nothing fancy, pretty small, the beginner toilet and everything, just a cheap shower, and again, the sink that always breaks. But yeah, so like I said, nothing fancy at all. It's just I wanted something a bit better and more to work with for a starter home than the ones that you can afford when you first start the game. And again, trying to earn money in this game, I seem to struggle with. So yeah, this is his little fairy house, which this uh, child is stood next to right now for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe she went in it. I have no clue. But yeah, this is his fairy house and it is... I chose the one that is the colours that he liked um, and I thought it kind of went with the whole theme of everything. But yeah, so he's just got little table chairs here just because, well, yeah, <laughs> no reason really to be honest. But yeah, so that's literally his house. Not a lot to it, but I'm happy with it. I think we can make it into something 
something good. And I just love the build and buy stuff that comes with this world. Again, this world is Midnight Hollows. Um, I also did get Riverview, I think it's called Riverview, which is a free world that was on the Sims 3 store. So I downloaded that, it was free. This one was not free. Um, but yeah, so I got two free worlds, uh, two free worlds, two new worlds. Uh, and I'm actually playing my own personal let's play on Riverview at the moment, which is a really nice town. But I wanted something a bit more supernatural-esque, if that's even a word, uh, for this one. But yeah, so this is Noah. Like I was saying, he is shy. He doesn't really have any friends. Um, as you can see, he doesn't know anybody. Um, he does already have some wants here, so he wants to learn the science skill. He wants to become friends with somebody. Uh, he wants to project aura of soothing, because he, he's, he's a really nice guy. He's very polite, friendly, um, but for some reason, he's just one of the ones that are picked on, and it, I, he doesn't understand why, because he wouldn't harm a fly. He's such a sweet guy, but, I mean, look at his face. Bless him. He's just so sweet. Look at those eyes. But yeah, so unfortunately he is just, people are mean to him. And I think he seems to think it's because he's a male and he's a fairy. Because most people would associate fairies with females. But I mean, that's not always the case. Um, but that's what he seems to think, even though, you know, he grew up in this fairy world, wherever it is. Let's just imagine there was one. Um, and there was other male fairies. But yeah, for some, for some reason, something about him people didn't seem to uh, get on with for no reason at all. So yeah, hopefully he'll be able to find some friends, meet someone new, like meet a, uh, a lover perhaps, and maybe one day have a family of his own. But yes, so uh, yeah. And he also wanted to learn the gardening skill. And what he wants to do as a lifetime wish is the perfect garden because he is a green firm. So he wants to plant and grow eight different species of perfect plant. So that is basically what he wants to do. Now currently he is meant to age up in 99 days. That is a long time and quite frankly I don't, I like them to age up a bit sooner than that. At the minute I think I have the aging on normal. Yeah so I've got it on normal as you can see I, I have it much lower but because he's a fairy uh, they live like forever. So <laughs> yeah, we will probably age him up sooner than that. Maybe after like 20 or so days, like it says in there what I had it set to. Um, so I guess we'll just have to kind of keep track, which knowing me, I will completely forget to do that. And yeah, but hey, so when we get to whatever 99 minus 20 is, then yeah, we will, uh, or at least around there, we'll age him up. But anyway, enough with the rambling. Let's get on to the actual game. Play. Whoops, I went too far. I forgot that I had the walls up. So let's take those down again. Because I play with the walls like this. So yeah, hopefully it won't lag too much. Yeah, th this this is weird. Um, I've noticed with the gameplay that I have, this these carpets you get with this world and you can get different sizes and shapes and everything but for some reason they they always browse uh, them no and smell. i don't really understand oh, what it is that they're browsing i mean he's looking at the light but it showed up with he, it showed up with the carpet and it says browse and it's like what what are you browsing so i don't know see there there you go so yeah really really weird not sure what that's all about, but hey, he wants to travel to the future. I don't think we're going to be able to do that anytime soon. Hey, person, sir, madam, you're going to drop the uh, the goodies, aren't you? Well, let's come and get him to um no. Wait, come back. Where are you going? Just invite inside, I guess. But actually, no, I don't want them like inside a house for ages. Holy! Well, that was alarming. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Let's just plop that inside your. Yeah, 
Oh, are you a woman? <gasps> I'm so sorry. How about let's let's um, uh, whoops, let's put that in his inventory. And I mean, he's not going to go to university, so let's just sell that. I mean, we could sell that for seven hundred twenty-five, but no. He wants to socialize with a supernatural, so I think um. Da, 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 da. I'm going to replace the science one with that, uh, just because it seems more like him. He's not really... Are you having a go at him? <gasps> How dare you, woman? That's just rude. See what I mean? See, he's just, for some reason, people are just mean to him, and it's just... I, he just doesn't know why. He's such a nice guy, and he's... He's not mean or anything like that, but yeah, people just seem to be horrible to him, and it's like, ugh. It's just not right. But anyway, he wants to play a trick on hope. Um, I mean, you could try it. Do you know how to do that? Special fairy? No. You know how to play Flea Pesta? Why not? I guess we'll just play Flea Pesta. And then I wonder if he can. Oh, listen to it. I love the little fairy voices. Oh, so cute. I wonder if he can... Aha, Aura. Aura of Soothing. He wants to cast an Aura of Soothing. So let's do that. And that he doesn't have any pets or anything at the moment, but I would like him to get a pet, but I'm not sure if we'd get a dog or a cat. Yay, there we go. There we go. Look at him sparkle and glow. So yeah, he's going to go browse the carpet again for some weird reason. But instead of you doing that, sir, how about you kind of browse the town? Hmm? Did, was he a bookworm? I, yeah, he was a bookworm. So is this the library? Yes. Let's visit the library because that's so something he would do. And it's literally around the corner or down the street rather. So yeah. That is something he would do because he's a bookworm and because he's quite shy and, you know, is usually by himself, uh, he would, he likes his books and so a library is kind of like one of his favourite places. Oh gosh, the lag is real. Right. Oh, ice cream man. I'd love an ice cream right now. Oh. Right, he's happy because he visited the library. My gosh, this is a fancy library. Damn. N uh, Noah Aries is feeling a bookish and took a trip to the library. They forgot the two part. Took a trip, the library. <laughs> took a trip to the library. He will always remember that the library was so quiet he could hear a pin drop. And some people in town. Cool, cool, cool. He is going to read. Oh, actually. Oh, wait, no. They're getting a... Well, you know, let's... Friendly introduction. Let's make some friends. And then he can also, you know, uh, meet. Um, and then also read a book. So... Oh, her eyes are glowing. I wonder if she is... Why are your eyes glowing? Do the people in this town, do their eyes just glow? Or is she like... Um... Is she like a, a supernatural or something? Uh, let's do friendly, get to know, friendly, chat. Who is this anyway? Katerina. Katerina, okay. Almost the almost similar name to my mum's name. Her name was Petrina. Because there's Katrina, there's Petrina, but my mum's was Petrina. Lovely name. I really do like the name Petrina. Not just because it was my mum's, um, but it is generally a nice name and... Yeah, I do really like the name Petrina. So you do that, sir. And what else do we have up here? My goodness. This library is, like, huge. Where did all the people go? I swear there was... How many stories is this thing? There was, like, people here a second ago. Oh, they're all upstairs. Hey, this guy looks like a vampire, potentially? Oh, she is a werewolf. Ah, oh, Hope is an ordinary human. Are you... you're not a vampire, are you? Doesn't look like a vampire. I'm not actually sure. But let's, uh, let's come and introduce ourselves. We want to make some friends, you know? He's like, this is a new town, I've just moved here. I need to, I need to meet some people and, you know, and he's sick and tired of 
always being the one who's left out, always being the one shoved to the side. Um, and he's, he's putting his foot down. He's like, I'm a nice guy. I don't want to be treated this way by everybody for who knows why. Oh, you can tell he's on his way because he's getting the aura. Um, and he's losing his magic, so he may have to turn that off. Um, so yeah, he's putting his foot down. He's like, I'm going to make friends. I'm not going to be shy anymore. I'm just going to get out there and socialize, I guess. Be a social fairy <laughs> rather than social butterfly. Uh, let's just do friendly and get to know. And then let's get to know this lady as well. She looks interesting. Oh, he's a ordinary human. He's just extremely pale. So do other people in this town just kind of... Do they look like that? Because it's like always midnight here. The sun never comes out. I guess you would be really, wouldn't you, technically? Like in real life, you would be. Um, huh, interesting. Well, he's going to come say hey to this lady. Noah feels the power of the Fae grow stronger within. If Noah wishes to inspire, he need only harness the power of the aura of creativity. Oh dear, she's crying. I hope we didn't make her cry. Oh! They are attracted to each other, apparently. What is she? Is she... <gasps> She's a witch! Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm, that's cool. Okay, okay. Let's uh get to know. Friendly chats. And how about let's do friendly bright and day because she was crying. And where did that other woman go? What's this? Uh, is that who we're talking? Okay, he wants to learn her sign. Uh, befriend a werewolf. Well, I'm just going to do this one because, yeah. Um, right, friendly, ask sign. We'll do that as well and then we can get some more left town points. Now, where did that woman go? I already, oh, then arguing or something. Um, there's that guy. Oh, is this her? Sorry if it's lagging. Oh, wait, no, that's the guy. Whoops. I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh wait, what? There's two. Okay. I don't know. So we'll just we'll just speak to this. Stop and welcome the latest addition in the Holden's household, Jake. The lovable little kitten has been adopted by the family. Oh, that's sweet. Maybe we'll adopt a cat. Hmm. We have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. Ooh. Sweet. Oh, he should probably stop with the aura in a second, because, uh, yeah, he's getting very low on his, um, on his magic here. This is the magic bar, and he's getting very low on it. So this is cool. He asked her sign, and what was it? Learned that she is a Libra. It doesn't say that they're compatible, but pff, so what? It doesn't matter. How about let's do uh, fairy, playfully pesta. Um, tell a fairy tale, and then good. Oh, we already did that. So let's just uh, go, you know, to our fairy roots and just kind of, yeah, tell her about fairy this fairyism or something. You know. Oh, good. She seems she seems cool with this. I like how you can actually see his wings as well when you zoom in. Cool! He's talking about babies! Okay, she did not like that. Okay, well, she's grumpy. That's great. Um, alright, well, let's just do... No, not funny if she's grumpy. Um... <laughs> uh... Gossip? Will you gossip? You're, you're eager. <laughs> okay, so that was okay. Let's chat with her one more time. And yeah, cool. That is the library. Okay, he gossiped that somebody got a new job. So that's cool. We've met a couple of supernaturals already. That's awesome. I did have to add the supernaturals into the world. Um, because, of course, there isn't any in this world. Well, I mean, there might have been some. Um, but my 
gosh, it is now pitch black out here. I can't see a thing. <laughs> um, all right, well, as it's pitch black, let's uh, let's go home. And yeah, go home, get some food, use the bathroom, go to sleep, you know, all that good stuff. Um, some stuff just going on with the townies, Asa. She's also coming down. She kind of looks like a vampire slash zombie. I'm kind of getting that look from her. But yeah, there's that woman with the glowing eyes, who's also falling out with this dude here, so clearly she just loves arguing or something. I don't know. Not gonna get involved. Ooh, a witch just flew by. There they go, off on their broom. I love how his wings just glow. Right, cool. And our house is literally only just up the road, so that's good. Oh, the lag, the lag, the lag, the lag is real. Oof. Alright. I really hope you can see. I like this is what I gossiped about. Todd. Oh, Todd's the guy that we spoke to. Oh. Oh, he's a policeman now. That's cool. Alright, sir. So, you need to use... You know what? Uh, let's... No, I want to turn on... All lights. There we go. Now we can actually see. Right, so you use this and then wash your hands. Be hygienic. If I just unpause that. Cool, cool, cool. And then we will get him to make an autumn salad. Because we'll get his... Uh... I hear a bird. I hear a bird. <gasps> There's the little birdie. Hi, little one. Yeah, before that, we're going to come watch, and then we're going to befriend Goldfinch, because if he can... Oh, she got a new job. Oh, works at school. Awesome. That's something he needs to do. He needs to um, get some sort of job. Can you become a self-employed gardener? I have no idea. I'd have to find out. But yeah, if he can befriend this little Goldfinch, that would just be the cutest little thing. Oh, look at him just fly over. Hi, little one. You're so sweet. Can I, like, zoom in? Oof. Look at the detail on this little birdie. So sweet. What would we name him? Huh? Everyone's getting jobs. Oh, you're so cute. Maybe... Uh, treacle? I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> something yellow. Dandelion? I don't know. I don't know. It's so cute. Are you going to be able to befriend it? Yes! Oh yes, that is awesome! Yay! That is awesome. He wants to buy a birdcage. So we can totally do that. Um, I'm going to get rid of that one and replace it with that. And right, let's uh, let's get back into the house and have some autumn salad. Well, actually, no, just come here and we will get a little a birdcage for our little new friend. And we'll have to think of a name. If you have any name suggestions, do leave them in the comment section below. He just caught a bird. Oh. So, right, let's have a little look here. Let's go down to Sims 3 Pets Expansion Park. And there it is. Um, let's just go for the blue one, I guess. Uh, where do we want it? Now that's the question. Where do we want it? Um, I guess we can put him down here. Sure, why not? He's our little friend. And actually, I kind of want to change the color of this. So I'm just going to fiddle around with it and change the color. Because it's a bit bright for this uh, this room. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm going to save that. It kind of just fits the theme a little better. Should have done the walls lilac, but again, I for some reason thought his favourite colour was blue. That was not the case. Cool, awesome. We have a little bear cage. Let's go and put away our little new goldfinch friend and like i say if you have any name suggestions do leave them in the comment section below and we can name the little one and then we can get him some food 
But, excuse me, sir. He completely ignored me. Well, all right then. Well, okay, uh, he ignored me, so I guess he's playing with his little god French friend in his fairy house for the time being. So I will just leave him to it, um, and I'm going to leave this first episode here. Hope you found it interesting so far, and I hope you, you're excited for Noah's story and where he's going to end up, what's going to happen. I'm really excited uh, for a Supernatural Let's Play. Supernatural is one of my favourite Sims packs. Uh, Supernatural Seasons and Pets has to be some of my favourites. Um, I like all of them, but um, yeah, those ones I probably use the most. Well, I mean, Seasons is... It's just there, you know? <laughs> uh, it makes it so much more interesting with the Seasons. But anyway, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're as excited as I am. And again, leave name suggestions in the comment section below if you liked what you saw leave a like and subscribe and i will see all of you awesome people next time see you then guys bye